there are a lot of factors to consider like the type of work you do, standing or sitting, your level of physical activity during that day, your sleep habits, your level of stress and hydration, etc. The short answer would be about one pound. How long can you fast without food? If we are not talking about a survival situation, 48 hours would be the limit you could go without food, but we do not advocate exceeding 24 hours. How long does it take for your body to be in a fasted state? Roughly 6 to 8 hours. Is it good for you to fast? We can't say it is good or bad. It's a viable short-term option to experiment with to lose weight. Benefits of a 24-hour fast. There is a wide array of benefits like Increase in mental awareness and confidence, being able to distinguish real and false hunger, grant more value to the food you eat, etc. How do I prepare for a fast? The two most important things would be to eat dense food the day before protein and vegetables, and drink plenty of water the day of the fast. A third optional tip would be to supplement with greens and essential amino acids to still get your micronutrients. 24-hour fast. Fasting isn't meant for everyone, you have to be okay with eating restrictions. You can't eat anytime you want. Depending on the regimen you are doing, you can only eat a few hours per day. If you like eating more frequently, three to four smaller meals, then you should consider another approach to lose weight. Since the 24-hour fast protocol is pretty explicit, we will skip that part. So, why the heck would I fast for 24 hours you might ask? You have to approach that as a challenge you are taking on. A pretty good one we have to say, but it's a one-time deal. As you will read below, there are some great benefits. How much weight can you lose by fasting for a day? A typical day contains between 2,000 and 3,000 calories for the vast majority of people. If you want to know precisely how much weight you can lose in a 24-hour fast, 2,500 calories represent about 0.7 pounds. That's without taking into account your BMR, metabolism at rest, physical activity during that day, type of work you do, level of stress and hydration, etc. Fasting for a day isn't the only thing that's going to make you lose weight. You have to look at the overall picture of your week. If you did some efforts outside that 24-hour fast day, and you made some good decisions for the rest of the week based on the foundations, you could lose near to 5 pounds during those 7 days. That is if you do not compensate for the 24-hour fast you just did by binge eating the next day. Don't fall into that trap. You are not skipping a day of food to eat double rations the next day or to get fast food. How long can you fast without food? Theoretically, you can last several days, weeks without food if you are in a survival mode. But the point here is to lose weight, not to survive. If you want to push this protocol to the extreme, you can go up to 48 hours without eating. Do we recommend it? No, not at all. The 24-hour fast is the limit we advocate. The reason why is because we don't want your body to undergo a state of muscle catabolism for energy use. When you fast for prolonged periods of time, your body will quickly use up all your carbohydrate storage for energy. Once this is done, you will rely on both fat and protein. Once the protein breakdown is over, your body will use only fat storage and muscles. The 24-hour fast push this limit to the edge. Going any further will only result in a loss of muscle mass especially if you don't supplement with EAA, essential amino acids. How long does it take for your body to be in a fasted state? It typically takes 6 to 8 hours to be in a complete fasted state. A fasted state means an empty stomach. So every night, while sleeping, we experiment fasting. We typically fast for 10 to 12 hours every night. If you've stopped eating around 8 p.m. and you get up at 7 a.m., that's 11 hours. With that being said, don't listen to people saying you have to fast for prolonged periods of time, many times per week to get the benefits. Some people advocate very extreme protocols without any scientific evidence. While it's true you might use up more fat for energy with a 24-hour fast, you mostly get all the benefits with a typical 16-8 to protocol. Is it good for you to fast? Fasting is perfectly safe and fine. But there is one case scenario where we wouldn't advocate fasting. That one situation is if you have diabetes. 
If you do have diabetes, you could try our 24-hour fast once, but we wouldn't recommend an IF protocol like the 16 to 8 every week. Even though some intermittent fasting studies showed a potential increase in insulin sensitivity and improved insulin markers, we can't be sure if those ameliorations were due to the reduced carbohydrates of the participants in the study or the IF protocol itself. Oftentimes, fasting means eating a large amount of calories in a short amount of time. This may lead to insulin spikes especially if you typically eat a lot of carbohydrates in your meals. When you have diabetes, you want to eat your carbohydrates throughout the day, not all at once in two meals. Some study showed that if you are sedentary, you might actually need 20 to 24 hours to fully profit from the intermittent fasting. However, this is only one study and it would need further investigation to fully claim that this is the case. Benefits of a 24-hour fast 24-hour fasting results might differ from short intermittent fasting regimens where you mostly lose body fluids. It reinforces mental strength by proving ourselves we can endure a lot of things and get through some situations we think are too hard. It gets us out of our comfort zone. It shows us there are many things we can do nutrition-wise like going 24 hours without eating. It also opens our eyes to the world and how privileged we are to be in that part of the world where eating to our heart's content is normal. This one study confirmed participants accorded more value to the foods they were eating after a 24-hour fast. It reinforces mental awareness that hunger is not an emergency and you can go a day or five hours without eating. Being able to distinguish real hunger from some boredom hunger. This one is probably the most significant one regarding weight loss. Controlling false hunger signals. A great example of false hunger signals is snacks. They are not necessary and they have their fair share of responsibility for weight gain. Unfortunately, we don't see people eating fruits and nuts as snacks anymore. They have been replaced by high calories, sugary food like cookies, flavored yogurt, cheese, granola bars, juices. Some of us also end up bored eating. I was like that back in those days, when I was at university. I used to take out a bag of nuts while listening to the teacher and always ended up eating all the nuts by the time the course was over. A 24-hour fast will teach you the distinction between psychological hunger, just a craving, and a real hunger, physiological hunger. Is it good for you to fast? Yes in the short term. Is fasting a good sustainable way of losing weight? No. Eating breakfast, lunch and dinner are equally important. Skipping a meal from times to times isn't a problem. Skipping it every day for a prolonged period of time is not desirable. In like manner, doing a 24-hour fast once a week isn't a good idea. But trying it once has a lot of positive effects. How do I prepare for a fast? If you think about doing it, we highly suggest trying this protocol during a day off. It may negatively impact your mood, energy levels, awareness, etc. Don't worry, it's temporary. If you are in a controlled environment, your home, it may be easier to deal with compared to a day at work with co-workers eating around you. First of all, what to eat the day before? Just like any other day, we would recommend nutrient-dense foods, meat, vegetables, fruits, whole grains. Try to focus on proteins, fibers and fat more than carbohydrates. Proteins, fibers, and fat induce more satiety than carbs. They also slow down digestion, giving you a feeling of fullness that stays longer. Here is the plan. 9 p.m. on Saturday night before going to bed. You stop eating. Sunday morning, 9 a.m. When you wake up, drink 1 liter of water. Drink 250 milliliters of green tea or coffee. Sunday at noon. 1 liter of water. 250 milliliters of green tea or coffee. Sunday around 5 p.m. 1 liter of water. 250 milliliters of green tea. Sunday at 9 p.m. 500 milliliters of water, eat a light snack, protein, vegetables, fruits, before going to bed. There are some supplements you can take while on a 24-hour fast to preserve your muscles and still get nutrients from vegetables without actually eating them. Those supplements are EAA, essential amino acids, the ones without any added form of sugar, dextrose, malto, etc., and green powder. Every time you drink water, add one scoop of greens and 5 grams of EAA. 
You can also drink flavored water, but we recommend doing it yourself to make sure it is sugar-free. Some orange, lemon or lime zest will do the job. Bottom line. Fasting for 24 hours is a heck of a challenge, but worth trying once in a lifetime. Fasting for a complete day, without taking anything else into account, could make you lose between 0.7 and 1.5 pounds. If you couple that with other things you are doing during that week like exercise and healthy food choices, you could end up losing 5 pounds a week. Extreme fasting protocols include 48 hours without eating make sure you do not have any health inconveniences before. Check with your doctor. Note that we do not recommend it and 24 hour as the limit we advocate. Every night we experiment fasting to a certain extent. It takes about 8 hours to be in a fasted state. If your last meal was more than 8 hours ago, then you are in a fasted state. It is good to try intermittent fasting for a few weeks, but not beyond that. It is not a viable option in the long run. The benefits of a 24-hour fast are numerous ranging from better mental strength to an awareness of your hunger signals, to understanding that food is not an obligation every few hours. Here are some tips to know if you consider taking on the challenge, do it during a day off weekend, stop eating around 8 p.m. by finishing with a nutrient-dense meal, drink plenty of water during the day of the fast with tea, coffee, homemade flavored water, zest of citrus fruits. Taking essential amino acids or green powder will prevent muscle catabolism and let you have essential nutrients from vegetables and fruits without actually eating them. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment we will reply as soon as possible.